Welcome, I'm Fred Behrens, Chief Executive Officer of the AOT Institutional Fund. I'm often asked by investors and other financial advisors, why would I use private equity? Isn't that the kind of investment that ties your money up for a while and uh, since I can't sell it every day, that carries risk with it? Well, yes and no. We're going to look at why private equity can be so helpful to an overall portfolio as, as a portion of a well-balanced um, uh, allocation. So um, if we look at firms that trade publicly, prior to 2000, there were more than 8,000 of those companies in the United States. I just happened to notice last week that that number has now dipped below 3,000. Now some of that is because of consolidation, public companies buying other public companies, but also because there are not as many private companies going public, in other words, IPOing or having an initial public offering, and the ones that are doing it are staying private longer. So let's look at this uh, information piece here. And looking at the time period before 2000, we see a lot of really big names, names like Amazon that are one of the top five uh, in the S&P contributors this year. But when they IPO'd, they did so at less than a billion dollars. And typically, after less than four years of being in operation, why would they do that? Well, in that time frame, the only way for the early investors, the friends and families that helped out somebody to grow a company or to start a company, the only way for them to take some money off the table was through an IPO. However, since 2000, private equity firms have been investing in these companies before they go public, and in doing so, uh, the average time that a company grows before uh, IPOing is more than 14 years, and they do so at a much higher market capitalization rate in the hundreds of billions of dollars in some cases or over $100 billion. So as we look at the value of private equity and why it's become increasingly important, now the university endowments, insurance companies, pension plans have known this for a long time. But since 2000, with so much growth taking place in these companies before they get to public markets, we think it's an important uh, part of an overall well-balanced portfolio to have a portion of one's portfolio allocated to private equity. Fred Behrens with the AOG Institutional Fund.